next question question number 4 find okay this has got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 questions so we will solve one by one first we will solve question number 4 1 4 1 says 2 by 5 2 by 5 divided by 1 by 2 it is very easy okay 2 by 5 we will write and we will do the multiplication by reciprocal of 1 by 2 okay so now it is very easy draw a line above the line you write 2 is to 2 2 into 2 that is both the numerator and below the line write 5 into 2 5 into 1 that is both the denominator so finally you are getting 4 as numerator and 5 as denominator and as this is a pure fraction we need not to change to any other form so this will only remain the answer for your question number 4 1 so like that we have completed 4 1 we will go for 4 2 4 2 says 4 by 9 4 by 9 divided by 2 by 3 2 by 3 Okay, this can be written as 4 by 9 multiplied by 3 by 2. Reciprocal of 2 by 3 is 3 by 2. So, it is easy now. Draw a line right here 4 is to 3 and below the line write 9 is to 2, 9 is to 2. So, you will get here 12 and you will get here 18. Okay. So, 12 can be written as 6 into 2 and 18 can be written as 6 into 3. 6, 6 is common. So, we will write it 2 by 3. 2 by 3 is a pure fraction. So, we will not convert to any other thing. It is only answer for your question number 5. Sorry, question number 4, 2. So, we have completed question number 2. We will see question number 3. Okay, 3 says, 3 says, 3 by 7. 3 by 7 divided by 8 by 7. Okay, this can be written as 3 by 7 multiplied by 7 by 8. This can be written as 3 into 7 on the top of the line and 7 into 8 on the bottom of the line. This can be written as 7 is to 3 and this can be written as 7 is to 8. Okay. This 7 we have written first and 3 we have written later. So, now in this one 7 and 7 are okay divisible by each, each other. So, we will cancel this one. So, our answer is 3 by 8. And as 3 by 8 is a fraction number, proper fraction. Okay. So, we will write, we will not change to any other form. So, this is the only answer for your question number. That is 4, 3. So, we will see now next question. That is question number 4. Question number 4 says 2 and 1 by 3. So, I will write 2 and 1 by 3 divided by divided by 3 by 5. 3 by 5. Okay. In first step, this mixed number is to be changed to a improper fraction. So, that is 6, 2, 3 is 6 plus 1. 7, 7 by 3 will be the, okay, replacement for 2 and 1 by 3. Now, divided, divided by 3 by 5, we will write 3 by 5, okay. In the next step, we will write 7 by 3 multiply by 5 by 3, 5 by 3, 
Okay. So if you multiply on the top, you will get 35, and as a denominator, you will get okay. Sorry, one more step we will write. Okay, this we will write one more step that is 7 is to 5, and bottom you write 3 is to 3. So you will get 35 and you will get 9. 35 as a numerator and 9 as a denominator. This is a improper fraction. This need to be converted to a mixed fractional number. So we will divide here that is 35 divided by 9, 9 3 ja 27. Okay. So 3 5 is 7. 8. Okay. Or 8. So 8 by 9. So our answer is 3 and 8 by 9. Nine. Okay, and that is the answer for your question number four. Four. Now we will see question number five. Question number five says that is three and half divided by one eight by three, eight by three. In the first step. Okay, we will convert this 3 and half to a improper fraction number. So, 3 to 6 plus 1 that is 7, 7 by 2 divided by 8 by 3. Okay, that will be 7 by 2 multiplied by 3 by 8. Okay, so this can be written as, okay, 7 into 3 and 2 is to 8. So, this can be written as, okay, both the numerator we will multiply and both the denominator we will multiply. So, this will give you 21 as numerator and 16 as denominator. This number is a improper fraction number. So, we will convert it to mixed number. So, for converting, we will divide 21 with 16. 16 one ja 16. If you subtract, you will get 5. So, it is coming 5 by 16. So, our answer is 1 and 5 by 16. That is the answer for your, for our question number 5. So, we will see now, next is question number 6. Question number 6 says 2 by 5 divided by 1 and 1 by 2. In the first step, we will convert this one to a improper fraction number that is 2 by 5 divided by 2 and 2 plus 1, 3, 3 by 2. In the second step, we will convert this. We will make the reciprocal of 3 by 2 and divide we will convert to multiple. So, 2 by 5, 2 by 5 multiplied by 2 by 3. Okay. So, you will get 2 into 2 as a numerator and 5 into 3 as a denominator. So, this will yield 4 by 15. Okay, 4 by 15 is a pure fraction number, proper fraction number. So, need not to change to any other form. So, this will only remain the answer for your question number that is 4, 6. Now, next question is question number 7. 7 says 3 and 1 by 5, 3 and 1 by 5 divided by 1 and 2 by 5. 2 by 3, not 5. Okay. 1, 3 and 1 by 5 divided by 1 and 2 by 3. In the first step, this number to be converted to a improper number and this number also to be converted to a improper fraction number. So, that we will do equal to 5, 3 is 15, 1, 16 by 5. 
डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री वन जा थ्री टू फाइव बाय थ्री इन द सेकेंड स्टेप वी विल डू द रेसिप्रोकल एंड मल्टीप्लाई सो दिस इज द सेकेंड स्टेप इन द थर्ड स्टेप we will draw a line above the line we will write 16 to 3 that is both the numerator to be multiply together okay and we will write 5 is to 5 in the denominator place 5 is to 5 so this will give 48 and this will give 25 So forty-eight by twenty-five is a improper fraction that is to be converted to a mixed number. Forty-eight by twenty-five, we will give division. Okay, twenty-five, twenty-five, three. That is two. That is twenty-three by twenty-five. Okay. So our answer is one and twenty-three by twenty-five. This is the answer for. Our question four seven. So our last question, that is question number eight, is to be done. Question number eight. It says two and one by five divided by one and one by five. In the first step, change this number to a improper fraction and this number to also improper fraction. So that we will do five to zero ten one eleven by five divided by five one zero five one six by five six by five. In the second step, we will go. We will do the reciprocal of this number and multiplication. We will perform that is eleven by five multiplied by five by six. In the third step. We will write the numerator and denominator. That is eleven into five, and denominator five into six. So finally, we are getting fifty-five by thirty. See the number achieved is an improper fraction. So that is to be converted to a mixed fraction. For that, we will give division here. Okay, one ja thirty. It is five. It is two. So twenty-five by thirty. So our answer is one and twenty-five by thirty. This is the only answer for your for our question number eight. And like that, we have completed one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight questions of question number four, and with that we have completed the exercise. Also, that is exercise two point four. We will start exercise two point five. Which is greater? This question has got one, two, three, four, five, six, six questions. So we will do one by one. We will do first one, one. Okay. Now this one. This is this one greater or this one greater? So this one is greater. Why? Because this five is at the hundredth place, whereas this five is at the tenth place. So this is greater, and tenth place is zero here. So we will write zero point. Five is greater than greater than zero point zero five. Okay, so our first question is complete. Now we'll go to the second part. That is second two one two. Zero point seven is greater, or zero point five is greater. Okay, so zero point seven is greater than 
greater than 0 0.5 why both the digits are available at 10th place okay 10th place and this is less and this is more so more is bigger than lesser one now we will go for third one 7 is bigger or 0 0.7 is bigger so 7 is bigger because 7 is whole whereas this is the 7th part 7th part of 10th parts this is the if you divide something in 10 parts so 7 parts are available in this number so 7 is we will write 7 is bigger than greater than we will write not bigger than because is greater than 0 0.7. Now we will see next question that is 4. 1 for C, 1.37 is bigger or 1.49 is bigger. See 1 is common in both. But in the decimal part, this is this is having 4, this is having 3 only. So, this will be bigger. So, we will write 1.49 is greater than greater than 1.37. Okay. So, we have completed up to 4. I will see 5. 15. 15. 2.03 bigger or 2.30 is bigger. See here 10th place is having 3 number. But here 10th place is having 0 number. So this number is bigger. Okay. So we will write 2.30 is greater than greater than 2.03 okay so now we will see next question so we will see now next is question number 6 point 0.8 is bigger or point 0.88 is bigger see that 100 place here 0 is there but 100 place 8 is there and 10th place 8 is there here also 8 is there here also so this number will be bigger than this number so we'll write it 0 0.88 is greater than greater than greater than 0 0.8 okay so like that we have completed all the six questions of your question number one. We will see now question number two. This has got one, two, three, four, five questions. So, I will solve one by one. First question, seven paise equal to seven by hundred rupee. Why? Because 100 paise, paise equal to 1 rupee. So, we have divided 7 paise by 100. So, it will become a rupee. Now, 7 is 2 divided by 100. So, I will write 7. I will write 100. Okay. And we will put one decimal okay and we will put double zero now divide how many time in seven hundred can be a table of hundred can some come zero so it is zero it is seven only okay so now we will put decimal because decimal is there we will put here so, how many times we can give? 100 is 4. So, 0 time. 
again zero time it is zero zero minus it is seventy this zero will come down so seven hundred how many time that is seven time seven time seven hundred okay if you subtract so nothing is available so it will be equal to equal to 0.07 rupees okay this portion we have used for calculation so this is not part of your solution this is the only solution so this we will remember because here again 7 rupees and 7 paise is coming so this is to be remembered now we'll take two that is 7 rupees and 7 paise okay so 7 rupees is already there so we need not to do anything because rupees is already there plus okay 7 paise 7 by 100 rupees so again we will give in 7 we will give division by 100 okay right here so zero time zero 7 we will get this one zero 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 70 this zero will come down seven time 700 minus everything is nullified okay so it is 7 plus plus 0.07 okay to have the space i will clear this and again we will explain okay 7.00 and this one is there 0.07 both is to be added now add one now add one now add this one so our answer is our answer is 7.07 rupees and that is the only answer for our question okay this part this side we have used for calculation so this is the only answer part solution part so we have completed question number 2 now we come to number 3 question number 3 says 77 rupees rupees and 77 paise 77 paise we can write it 77 rupees rupees plus 77 by 100 paise we will do the calculation 77 divided by 100 okay decimal zero okay so zero time zero zero 77 decimal this zero will come down so that will become we can give seven times so seven it is coming 700 okay so zero seven again one more zero can be brought okay so initially only we should write here we should write here 0 0 okay so this zero has come down here now again seven times so 700 so all are nullified so we can write 7 7 rupees plus plus 0.77 
पैसे सॉरी नॉट पैसे दिस इज सेवन सेवन रुपीज नाउ दिस टू वी हैव टू एड फॉर एडिंग ओके वी विल डू द एडिशन फॉर दैट टू हैव ए स्पेस आई विल क्लियर दिस डाटा एंड वी विल एड सो सेवन सेवेंटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सेवन ओके सेवन दिस इज ऑल्सो सेवन दिस इज ऑल्सो सेवन दिस इज ऑल्सो सेवन इक्वल टू इक्वल टू सेवेंटी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन रुपीज दिस इज द एंसर दिस पार्ट वी हैव यूज फॉर कैलकुलेशन सो दिस इज अवर सोल्यूशन पार्ट so we have completed question number 3 now we'll go for question number 4 4 here 4 says 50 paise equal to 50 divided by 100 50 divided by 100 so we will give decision division that is 50.0 Zero, and this will be hundred. Okay, zero time, zero zero fifty decimal. This zero will come. So five, five hundred. Okay, cut. Equal to. Equal to zero point five zero. See anything, any zero after the decimal. Okay, decimal number doesn't have any value. So we can write zero point five zero also, or we can write or zero point five rupees. Okay, both are correct. If you write this one, that is also correct. If you write zero point five rupees, that is also correct. Okay, so this part is our calculation part, and this part our solution part. So like that, we have completed question number four. Now we will start question number five. Question number five says two hundred thirty-five paise equal to two hundred. Thirty-five divided by hundred rupees. Okay. Now we have to divide two hundred, two hundred thirty-five by hundred. So, okay. I will zero zero, and we will divide. So we can give two times two. Two times, so two hundred. This is coming thirty-five. Okay, so we we'll write decimal, and this zero will. Okay, so we can give three times three. So three hundred minus. Okay, so there will be fifty. This is this zero will come down. We will give five times. So five hundred. We will keep on dividing till the time we are getting zero, right? So how much we have got? Equal to two point three five rupees. Again, this part we have used for okay doing the rough work. Here we have. Made the solution like that. We have completed question number one, two, three, four, and five question of main question two.